The climate doesn't just change in graphs or reports, we feel it on our skin. Heat waves now last longer than our summers, wildfires spread across entire regions, and cities we once knew are adapting as if they were living on another planet. It's happening here, now, in our everyday lives. The truth is, the planet itself is not in danger. What's at stake is how we're going to live, where we'll be able to build our cities or grow our crops. And according to models from the IPCC, the major global coalition of scientists that has been monitoring and analyzing climate trends since 1988, we are heading toward a warming of around 2.7 to 3 degrees Celsius by the end of the 21st century. So, what now? Are we definitely doomed? Not quite. We still have something to hold on to. They're called positive tipping points. In other words, the milestones and small breakthroughs that are adding up in the fields of energy transition, sustainability, and ecology. For example, just 10 years ago, many believed that renewables could never compete with fossil fuels. Today, solar energy is 10 times cheaper, and the cost of batteries, essential for storing that energy, has fallen by 86% over the past decade. A greater rollout could deliver a 27% reduction in emissions by 2030 and 38% by 2035. Moreover, coal use is fading away. Since 2015, three quarters of planned coal plant projects have been canceled, and more than 40 countries have pledged to stop building new ones. And have you heard of regenerative agriculture? It's a practice aimed at restoring and improving soil health, increasing biodiversity, and strengthening ecosystems. It's estimated that this technique could capture up to 23 gigatons of carbon dioxide by 2050. Meanwhile, the circular economy is transforming the way we produce and consume, extending the lifespan of products and reducing pressure on natural resources. And all these advances are changing lives. In 2023, Europe reached a circularity rate of 11.8%, one of the highest in the world. In Australia, the McIntyre Wind Farm Project, one of the largest on the planet, will prevent up to 2.5 million tons of CO2 emissions per year, equivalent to taking 700,000 cars off the road. In the United States, installed solar capacity has increased 15-fold over the past decade, reaching 159.3 gigawatts in 2024 and potentially rising to 364.1 gigawatts by 2029, enough to power around 3 million homes. In Spain and Portugal, Solar energy is enabling many to adopt solar-powered irrigation technologies, achieving more efficient harvests and protecting their livelihoods. That's why, if we accelerate all these trends, we can genuinely aim for a world limited to that 1.5 degrees Celsius of maximum warming by the end of the century. But the major challenge of reducing emissions lies in energy transition and decarbonization. With funding for climate solutions, ecosystem protection, technological innovation, and global political action grounded in social justice. All while promoting awareness and adaptation to climate change so that we can leave the best possible planet to future generations.